Hey YouTube, this is DieFlyFish. Just want to show you something. Here's a little plasma toy um, that has a constrained glass layer plasma that's, you know, you can play with sort of like those spheres, but this is all encased in glass and it's planar in its function. Here's uh, some neodymium magnets that I've encased in epoxy and on a Teflon slide from a previous project, a magnetohydrodynamic drive that I put together, but in any event, just want to show you some interesting effects using the NEOs. So, depending upon its position, we can definitely dial in a differential effect on the plasma. And again, this uh, magnetic effect is rather fascinating. And in the planar form, appearing quite fractal. Again, I'm not able to really uh, focus as well as the detail that you can see with the bare eye, but suffice to say, just by doing that, you can see how it culminates the plasma. And if I just move it ever so slightly, the field lines are affected. So, or the field lines are constraining and are culminating the plasma. So, again, depending upon which way we get the field lines, we can produce a whole slew of different radiating effects. But suffice to say, it will be very fascinating when a larger variant is made to be able to do this with a larger magnetic field. So, I thought you might find this interesting. Just another... Um, indicator to me as far as what the capacity for magnetism and plasma and the interaction between the two and uh, where it may go. Have a great day.